Hello world, my name is Touche, I'm your host, and you tuned into Country TV. Our motto here is, if you don't know, you better ask somebody. And speaking of asking, that's what this show is all about. If you have any questions that you're seeking answers to, simply go to my Facebook page. <clears throat> yeah, there it is right there. Yeah, go there, go to the comment area. Leave your question, and I will have your answer on the next video. And since we've got that out the way, let's jump into the questions. Question number one comes from Georgia Bill. Her question is, I want to know, what is your family motto? First, I'd like to give a shout out to Georgia Bill, the newest member, 254 Studio Net Team. And to answer your question, our motto, is together we can together we can together we can okay the next question comes from ginger which is nobody's fool also a member 254 studio net team um her question is when can i get a cd good question well i don't have a specific date yet but what i can let you know is going to be sometime in may sometime in May so be on the lookout for that everyone thank you uh, the next question come from Mandy Nutt her question is I want to know why is it that you try so hard to come up and then you always fall short okay I think that was a very interesting question my answer to you would be we get away from the plan that we set for ourselves for instance coming up could be you want your own apartment. You want your own car. You want to save up money. Uh, that's the plan. See, once you come up with a plan, that's half the battle. The other half is to execute the plan that you came up with. Meaning, don't let anything deter you, take you away from the plan that you set for yourself. When friends, family, boyfriends, significant other girlfriends come and ask you for something or try to lead you to do something that would take you off of that plan, you got to stick with the plan and that will prevent you from falling short. That will prevent you from falling off because once you complete that plan, once you reach that goal, you're going to see that you're going to be exactly where you want it to be. Thank you for that question. Uh, moving right along. The next question comes from Calandra. She asked, how long have you been doing this? Okay, I started doing this back in 2010. I was taken away for two years and now I'm back. So I'm kind of familiar and I'm kind of still new at it. So when you see me make my little mistakes or whatever, it's because I'm in a learning phase still. But we all know that practice makes perfect. I hope that answers your question, Calandra. Uh, the next question comes from Adrienne. And her question is What catches your eye when it comes to a woman? Okay. What catches my eye mean there's nothing verbal, just my eyes. Well, when I look and I see a female, the first thing that I notice is how she dress, how she treat others. Because these are things that you can look and you can learn before even talking. If you see a female all dirty, uh, loud, cussing, then nine times out of ten, she don't take care of other areas as well also. So... I look and I observe, you know what I'm saying, because it's not always that dying piece, high maintenance status, because they can be that and have a stink attitude, which will make them easily get, yeah, walk past. I hope that answers your question. Uh, she's also a member of the 254 Studio Net team. Shout out. Uh, the next questions come from Tanya Drake. What's up, TJ? Uh, where do you see yourself in five years? I have three alphabets for you, which is T-O-P. If I consistently and consecutively continue to do what I'm doing, I see myself moving forward with it. Uh, I hope that answers your question. All right, we're going to keep it rolling. My next question comes from Erica. I had to go and get my bag just for you. But her question was, 
is that the same thermal <laughs> off in all your different videos I have a bag full of thermals baby I even have actuals that don't even fit in a bag that's how many different thermals I have but goes to show that I'm answering all questions thank you for being observative of that and opposing that question because that probably answered what other people were thinking as well but that goes to show that I'm answering all questions if you send it I will answer it we gonna keep it moving uh, my next question come from a team member pop back up Adrian asks what or who motivates you to do music what motivate me to do music is all the fake music that's out there all the the got the bentness I got the rosé I got this big money okay you talking about all of that how do that help me how do that pro uh, help me get that you know what I'm saying so when I listen to all the fake music out there that motivates me to continue to do positive good music I look at it like a, a Martin Luther King or a Malcolm X if you're gonna give me your attention to take the time to listen to what I have to say bragging about making it rain and all that no no so long as I hear that music it motivates me to continue to do positive strong subliminal listen to the message inside of my music and you can still get down with it also thank you for that question teammate uh, next question come from Natasha once again 254 studio net team uh, what made you want to do this rapping and make videos okay what made me want to rap years years ago there was a rap group named Run DMC they had a song called you be ill well it was a part on there my friend he didn't know that part so whenever he got to that part he used to uh, you know kind of do that little humming thing so what I did was I wrote the entire song down I'm talking about pause write rewind play pause write rewind play and when I wrote that whole song down I actually caught on to the writing pattern and then something clicked in my mind that I can replace their words with my own words and from that point on I've been doing my rapping thing and as far as videos videos I can bring you inside of my world like you see my co-host just walked up behind me yeah yeah uh, I love it you know what I'm saying therefore I don't just have your ears from listening I have your eyes from watching thank you yes yes uh, moving right on down the list our next question come from yet another 254 Studio Net team member, Miss Diddy Conway. And her question is, what motivates you because I see so much passion for what you do? And I want you to know, Miss Diddy, what you see is 100% the truth. Uh, to answer your question, what motivates me is you all. Y'all my motivation. When I look and see y'all leave comments, you checking up on me. For the latest things that I've posted and done, you're asking when the CD is gonna drop. That's my motivation. When I look and see a smile on y'all face, and I know that I put that there, that right there is my motivation. So, I hope that answered your question, Didi. Thank you for that question. Okay, Didi asked another question, and it's when are you coming to a store near us? <laughs> okay, that's why I love the internet because you would have to get in your car you would have to walk to a store to get me but the internet brings me not only to a store near you but you could be in your house in the comfort of your own home and you can get you some me but to answer that question I don't know specifically yet but when I find out, y'all gonna be the first one to know. Only thing I can say is be on the lookout in May sometime. Uh, Miss Didi also asked, is there a misfit in quiet minds want to know? <laughs> I'm gonna skip that answer right now. Yeah. 
Okay, here we go. Uh, our next question comes from yet another 254 Studio Net team member, Miss Desiree Love. And her question is, what was your first impression of me and why? <laughs> My first impression of you was them kids probably running all over her. Why? Because you so, I don't want to say shy, but like soft-spoken. So that's what I thought when I first seen you. I thought them kids would probably just, yeah, cause I seen them kids beat up some people in the chat house. Okay. Uh, and Miss Desiree, next question was, what makes you happy? Well, there's a lot of things that make me happy. But to answer that one question would be when I accomplish something. When I actually get something complete. I'd be happy to know that it's a job well done and I gave my best. Uh, Miss Desiree, third question was, what are you most passionate about? The things that I give majority of my time to, whether it was a friend, whether it was my job, whether it was music or filming, doing the little bit of shots that I do. Uh, I, I, I'm a passionate person, so I, I, I put that off in, I involve that off in a lot of things that I do. Uh, and Miss Desiree Love also asked three words that describe me. I go hard. I hope that answers your question. Okay. Uh, and the next question comes from Miss Tori. How are you doing, Miss Art? Uh, and her question is, do you think it's fair for a woman to anticipate their man to be unfaithful based on his profession? For example, people assume all pro athletes and rappers cheat. Well, to answer that question, I would be 100% no. Because that's like saying, because a black guy snatched that white lady purse, that all black guys snatch purse. And I don't think that that's fair because... Uh, some people actually do what's right. You know what I'm saying? Some people actually stay in line. One athlete name was Doug Christie, played for Sacramento Kings uh, when I stayed out there. And his wife went to all the games with him. So that's one person that I know specifically who didn't cheat. And you know what they say when you assume. <laughs> Moving on to the next question. Our next questions come from Yet another 254 Studios net team member, Miss Joni Boston. Joni have a couple of questions. Question number one, is there anything that you love more than music? Yeah, I love my kids more than music. I love my family more than music. Uh, because before I was making music and probably after I'm done making music, I will have my family there. So I would say family. Uh, your next question was, if you were an animal, what would you be? A horse. <laughs> next question comes from Teresa King. Who inspires you? Also, when odds are against you, how do you stay focused? Miss King, who inspired me is... God, he inspired me because I actually believe in it. Even when I was doing wrong, I, I, I looked at things that he did and he accomplished, how he didn't quit and got things completed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, under him, Tupac, you know what I'm saying? I loved what his music was about, you know what I'm saying? He spit real stuff. Not, not, not often would you catch a rapper who would call his mama crack fiend, even though you was a crack fiend mama. And that was right around the area where I had friends who mothers was smokers. And that was something that, you know what I'm saying, people would try to talk about and point out to talk about you. And he put it in a song to let you know that it was really real. You know what I'm saying? So he inspired me, you know what I'm saying, as well. 
And then you say, when odds are against me, how do I stay focused? What I used to do is I get away from everybody. I get away from everybody. Even though I'm the life of the party, you know what I'm saying? A lot of functions don't start till I make it there. Well, I back away from everything so I can hear myself think. So I don't be around people, them yes people. Yeah, 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 yeah. When a lot of them should have been saying, nah, well, away from them, meant I was away from the distractions. So that's how I dealt with that. Thank you, Teresa. Next question comes from Vicki Washington. What's up, Vicki? Her question is, why didn't you answer when I was in the H? L-O-L. You knew, if I knew you was dying here, I would have answered. Next question. Teresa King, have you ever been in love? Yes. And what does it mean to be in love? What it mean is somebody got that old heart. My feelings involved. My mind involved. My money. What is that? Physically, mentally, spiritually, financially. All that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, my next question comes from Quita, the Queen Lee. And her question is, when, not if, you make it, what kind of car are you going to buy me? <laughs> okay. What I've learned over the years is this. I talk to you. I ask you about this and I ask you about that. What do you think about them new uh, S550 Mercedes or the... Or the you know, you like how the back made on them? What about the BMW, them seven up? What I do, I talk to you, and I end up getting it out of you like that and sneak and go and get it like that. You know what I'm saying? That's how I find out what better suits you. I hope that answers your question, little sister. We're going to keep moving right along. And the next question come from huh, my OG, Big A. What's up, baby? He asked me, am I going to represent the H town? <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to put it to you like this. My mother, her name is Marlon. Last name, Texas. She have an older sister named Houston. Well, my mother, Marlon, she wasn't for my best interest. I mean, she didn't support me. She didn't look after me the way a mother should have. Uh, yeah, she done her odd and in little things, but she didn't look out for me the way she's supposed to. I mean, I would do shows, rent buildings, you know what I'm saying? And the club, empty. But then I go outside, the parking lot, packed. No one came in. I mean, this is the way my mother was treating me. No love. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not going to say she didn't look out for me here and there because you see these right here? Do you see these headphones right here? My mother bought me these. Yeah. These right here, these are Marlin. See the name of them? I don't know. It's not even a name. But these are Marlin right here. I never got rid of them. Why? Because my mother gave me these. You hear me? These Marlin. I, I got love for my mother. I'll never forget them. That's why I didn't throw these away. You hear me? But my auntie, she has some sons about my age. So what she done was she adopted me. She took me into her home. You know what I mean? She brought me down. And that's where I've stayed. Now, that's where I live. You know what I'm saying? That's where I eat. She's feeding me. Uh, well, she have a best friend. Her best friend have some sons that play basketball. Well, I tried out for the basketball team, and I made the team. Well, my adopted mother, 
Houston, uh, best friend, seen me playing the game. And she went and told my step, my adopted mom, you need to come check your nephew out. He got some talent. I mean, he's very gifted. So my adopted mother, kids start feeling like I was taking their mother away from them because she started showing me attention. She started showing me a lot of love also. And on the same token, my biological mother, she started getting mad, feeling like I wasn't giving her attention. I wasn't representing her when really you neglected me first. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, you know what I'm saying? I want to give thanks to my auntie for staying down. You know what I'm saying? Helping me step my game up. You know what I'm saying? Through her, you know what I'm saying? I know how to buckle up now. You know what I'm saying? Put that safety first. And before it's all over, y'all gonna know how to do that also. I know I took a lot of time up talking about that, but I just needed to clarify that, you know what I'm saying, for my big brother. I love you, boy. And we're gonna keep it moving right along. Our next question comes from Gregory Daniels. Greg's question is, major versus independent, and what are the pros and the cons? That's gonna be easy to answer because I just got through seeing zero talk about the same thing and what he said was the difference is you working for someone else compared to you working for yourself if you was to sell 30,000 units while you were signed to a major record label that's considered a loss a flop 30,000 500,000 is considered gold 1 million is considered platinum 30000 mean you owe your record label, your boss, a check. Well, if you was independent and you moved 30,000 units at $10 a piece, that's $300,000 in your pocket. Record labels nowadays is nothing how record label used to be back in the day when... They only wanted your record sales. Nowadays, record labels only want to give artists 360 deals, meaning they want to own you. Anything that you do, from selling t-shirts, um, your music, doing shows, whatever it is that you're doing to make money in from the words that come out of your mouth, from your name, that, yeah, they want, they want some of that. So... I would say that independent is the way to go. You could be your own boss. You could be your own machine. Get your DBA and get your LLC. You know what I'm saying? And be your own machine. Shout out to that boy Zero, man. 100. I hope I answered your question, Tucker. All right, we're going to keep moving right along. Our next questions come from Rotney. DJRS Scruggs. What's up, my brother? Yeah. Uh, and his question was, who is your funniest person you've recorded on your YouTube? Sammy, OCB, or the Laughing Man? Romaine. <laughs> That's hard to say, you know what I'm saying? Because that boy OCB, he got a lot of original stuff that he can share with people. And then that boy Sammy, that 13 hour walk, man. You know what I'm saying? But to answer your question, I would have to go with uh I have to go with Sammy, man. Sammy. Yeah. I hope I answered your question, big brother. And um uh, What is your family motto? Hmm. Well, God damn, man. Thermal. The next question come from <laughs> Ooh Lee. And what you see is 100% the truth. Uh, my question. Damn. All right. We're going to keep it moving. You understand me? Uh, down the list. All right. We're going to keep it moving. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, we moving on along. We moving right along. Okay. Our next question. Our next. Our next question. Move right along, baby. And our next question come from five hundred thousand. One million. Bids on everything that you do. So. That's me. I'll I'll put that in there. I'm gonna keep that in there. No, don't do that. Y'all see how they y'all see how they do me though? But that's love though. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Give a shout out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shout we out to Key. What'd you tell? What'd you tell? Shout out to Key. Shout out to Key. She be looking out for me, y'all. Yeah.